Wow. Would you look at the entrance and the front face of this home? That is gorgeous. We're here today at 60982 Woods Valley Place. That's Bend, Oregon. And we're in the southwest uh, section of town in the River Rim neighborhood to showcase this Tamarack built home uh, from 2006. It is gorgeous inside. Are you looking for private office, chef's kitchen, vaulted ceilings, amazing wood floors, awesome finishes, I mean, even wood framed windows. This has got all of the luxury touches for tranquil sanctuary living um, right here in Southwest Bend. Can't wait to show it to you. Three bedroom, two and a half bathroom, two story home, 2,728 square feet, and it is gorgeous. It's available now. As much as we're gonna have open houses and showings, we'd love to have you come take a private tour and let us show you what makes this home and this neighborhood, which is just quiet, well-built, really nice community feel and close to all that beautiful fun of Bend and Central Oregon. All right, you ready? Let's go check it out. We're gonna do that right now. All right, so as we make our way in up the uh, driveway, past the two-car garage, nice welcoming entry, and I think this is my favorite part of the house. Look at those archway doors. Is that custom? Is that just that unique touch that makes it a little different than everyone else? And I really enjoy the space you get to walk into. Do you see this? I mean, vaulted ceilings, grand entrance, excellent wood trim finishes that really accent the, the finishes of how this place is set up and the space here. I'm trying to showcase it, but I don't even know if my wide angle camera is gonna really be able to demonstrate how great this is. But let's try and take another angle here. And we're gonna walk through and see what is this entryway private office space. It is a large space. Some people might try and use this as a bedroom. It does not have a closet built in, so we're not calling it a bedroom, but probably as big as many bedrooms in different homes. And then the closet, which is your entry closet, comes including the smart connection center, so the house pre-wired for all of your security, safety, smart features, but isn't that, I mean, from little steps where you can sit and put your shoes on, cabinetry where you can put them away, and then we take just a step down into this grand space. Do you see the feeling that you get when you walk into this home? Is It's like transformational. It's just the archways, the vaulted ceilings, the flooring. Obviously, the furniture is not designed to come with it, so you got to picture your own how you would set it up, but... The windows from above coming in with this light, it really offers something that I think is unique and really just a great feel. And a little separation created to the dining room space and that beautiful kitchen. Do you see this? As I often say in my videos, kitchens can sell a home. Let's try and give you a good view of how this kitchen is set up. Gen Air appliances throughout, luxury accommodations for that chef's kind of kitchen dream. You've got a huge two-tiered island with great uh, space to kind of view what's going on in the rest of the house. Double ovens, a built-in desk off of the uh, off the space here, which just adds another touch of how do you use your home and what do you do with that space? We've got a nice first floor powder room with some nice kind of appointments. Love that sink. Just kind of one of those nice little touches that make it unique. And then right off the uh, entryway, We've got a nice uh, laundry room with space for the counters, cabinetry, your washer and dryer, and then we'll go back to the garage here in a little bit. Uh, but is that not just an awesome use of this space and well laid out for entertaining and also quality of life? All right, let's go view upstairs. I'm gonna take the walk up the stairs together because I think it's just a great feel as you transition to the bedroom space at the next level. So we'll come up to a nice landing area, Gives it uh, kind of a separation from the primary suite on one side to the two other bedrooms, as well as a little nook at the top of the stairs. Is that where you put a love seat? Is that where you put a desk? I guess it depends on your needs for your family. And let's just take a moment and actually look at up with this upper view, the windows and the space to the entryway, the space to the family room. We've got a uh, bathroom in the middle here. It's got... Uh, tub shower, toilet, as well as uh, dual sinks. 
very convenient to share when it comes to the two bedrooms here. So guest rooms, family rooms, I don't know how you'll use it, but very spacious. And as big and nice as that bedroom is, I think this one's even bigger. So you gotta decide how you wanna use that space. But I mean, as I walk in this room, great feeling with the fans kind of creating that nice air, but luxury appointments and how the, the casings and the trim work really accent the windows and the closets. And that uh, shelving unit there is actually built in and stays with the home. So now let's enter this primary suite, kind of set up as an entryway that's kind of got a foyer as you come into this really unique, cool bedroom space. And you can see the trees whistling in the wind outside. You've got a built-in uh, fireplace there that is a electric accent. Um, we'll come off of one side here to, there is one walk-in closet. And I would say that's appropriate sized one. And we'll turn around and we kind of make our way to the bathroom. That soaking tub, that walk-in tall vaulted shower, uh, as you see, two sinks to give us the space. Behind this door is the uh, primary bathroom facilities. So you've got some privacy built in there. You've got the other sink, you know, across from it. So everybody's got their own counter space. And then we walk into the second closet, which I think might even be a little bit bigger. Let's go in it, just because it is pretty spacious. So as I often say, it seems like there's always two closets and they're not exactly the same size. Which one do you get? Do you get the bigger one? Do you get the smaller one? How does that fight go in your house? Well, let's go out and check out the rest of the property out in the backyard. Let's go. All right, we're walking out of the back of the main floor here out into this backyard oasis. Some people would call it a sanctuary. And the reason I think that, let's take a quick uh, approach. How about this back deck? Right now we're sitting in the shade. In the evenings, you probably get a little bit more sunshine, but a great place with all these amazing landscape trees, kind of helping create that privacy from the neighbors. You almost can't even see that that's the neighbor house back there. And we'll walk over to this side. This lot is uh, 0.13 of an acre, about 5,600 square foot uh, lot. So not a lot of work, you know, it's kind of most of the house with enough space to really be able to come and kind of set up uh, a backyard kind of hideaway. Um, barbecue is uh, set up for natural gas. Um, so you'll be able to kind of have your gas barbecue all set up. And then we come off to this side and again, yeah, your neighbors are close, but you've got quite enough separation. And I don't know about you, hot tub space, uh, space for your outdoor activities, kayaks, rafts, bikes, skis. I don't know what you're gonna use it for, but there's some potential for a little bit of setting it up your way or you just keep it the way it is. Simple living, and sometimes when you're in Oregon, it's nice to be able to come and go without a whole lot of maintenance on your property. So, here's one of those great spots. Fantastic house, great neighborhood, super convenient to, what do we say, trails, we've got uh, river access. Uh, we're about a block away from the uh, Brookwood uh, Square, so grocery stores literally like a block and a half away, coffee shop, wine bars, uh, we'll go check that out in a minute. Uh, but let's go check out the garage real quick and make sure you see all the benefits of this property. All right, let's go. All right, we're walking off the uh, back of the kitchen where that laundry room was. We're coming down about three steps into this great two-car garage. And I don't know if you noticed uh, as the door was going up, but a nice shelf set up there for some of your uh, belongings. That's always nice when you've got that extra storage space. Um, you've got kind of a nook built in here. So what are you going to use that space for? Is that where all your sports equipment goes? Is that where your workbench is going to get set up? Is that just space that you need? And then that notch that's built into the garage there, that's smart construction. They put all of the equipment in one space and make it very accessible uh, as the kind of best way to set it up. So that's a pretty good idea of what the house is. Now let's go check out the neighborhood. Let's go check out the parks, some of those amenities we talked about. Let's go see what else we can find as we uh, look at this house in this neighborhood. Let's go.
All right, so here's my question today. What is it when you're looking for a house that is the top priority? Is it the house? Is it the location? Is it the local amenities? Well, we've talked about a few of the things that uh, this house offers. It's location in Southwest Bend. It's access to river trails. Um, it's access to kind of parks and, and neighborhood uh, community. Uh, but right now we're walking just about a block and a half down the road. Um, we've just kind of left the house. We're making our way down the block. We could have gone the other way and just come around the loop, which you'll see in uh, a video, I believe, uh, that I'm adding in. But if we come down here to the trail, you see where the dog's walking up, we're gonna walk down the trail and we're gonna end up in a little square that's gonna show us grocery stores, coffee shops, uh, vet clinics, really just kind of all the things you need within a block of your house that make this neighborhood a gem. So let's go check it out. All right, so here we are coming off the trail, about a minute and a half, two minute walk as we uh, leave the neighborhood and come over to this amenity of convenience. Uh, but let's get back to our question. What is it that is your top priority when you're finding a new house or a new neighborhood? Or is it the house? Is it the location? Is it the amenities? Is it the trails? You know, is it the community? What is it when you're out searching? So you'll see my information below. I want your comments. I want your feedback and I want to hear a little bit about what your priority list is because it's probably different for just about everybody. Uh, it should be the house, but is it? So let me know. Um, all right, so we're walking through this area. And let's talk about it. C.E. Lovejoy's Brookswood Market. So total grocery store, um, probably gonna have just about everything you need. My client commented, you know, how many places can you be where you're in the middle of dinner and you're like, oh no, I forgot something. And you can literally run down the street, grab what you need, get back and not even stop what you're doing. That's awesome. Uh, but in addition to that, we've got Austin Mercantile over here. That's gonna be your local coffee shop. They've got beer and wine. They've got uh, decor and gifts. We've got a pet store uh, with nutrition and wellness spa. We've got office spaces, botanical uh, supply. Wondery is like a kind of a kid's camp type setup. Uh, Gia down here is an Asian kitchen. And we've got hair studio, uh, canine rehabilitation, snap fitness, mail and more. I even see Rancho, which is one of my preferred uh, Mexican restaurants in town, open in a south, uh, a south location over here and uh, a pet hospital and kind of uh, spots to take care of them as well. So pretty awesome to have all these conveniences, literally a minute and a half out your door. Um, so location is key. Uh, next step, let's go find that river trail. You ready? Adventure awaits. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but we're making our way down the Deschutes River Trail. Uh, we're about a, I don't know, eight to 10 minute walk from the house uh, to get to the trailhead. That's gonna give you all kinds of directions where you can head, whether you're going for a stroll, a walk, a bike ride, or you're out for a jog. Um, great to get out in nature and explore. Uh, but one thing I wanna say while we're walking down here, it's one thing I love more than making these videos, which I think you all know I'm pretty, uh, pretty much enjoying what I'm doing. Uh, but I love helping people like you and uh, families from across the country learn about Bend, Central Oregon, and make the move this way. So we don't care if it's nine days, nine weeks, nine months, a couple of years. It's never too early to start that conversation and start to uh, find out what it takes to get down here into uh, this Bend and Central Oregon lifestyle because that's what it's all about. So see my information ping down below. Uh, I'd love to connect, whether that be phone call, text, email, uh, or let's set up a Zoom call. And let's find out how we can help get you the information to make this uh, Central Oregon Bend uh, dream a possibility and a reality. Uh, but let's go explore a little bit of nature. We're right around the corner. About to go check out the river. You ready? It's right around the corner. Oh, who doesn't want that 10 minutes from their house? Come and enjoy what this world has to offer in nature in Central Oregon. Oh, I love the sound of the river. Look at that. All right, let's go find that uh, Wildflower Park up in the neighborhood. All right, let's walk into Wildflower Park here in River Rim 
and get an idea of one of those final benefits to what we find in this neighborhood. Uh, so big field, green grass, we've got uh, areas to kind of get out and let the animals, the dogs run around, um, let the kids run around, the playground, climbing walls, picnic tables, just a little bit of all of it. And uh, you know, that's, that's what the convenience and the amenities are all about. You know, being able to come and find a neighborhood, find a house, with all the things that you need, access, location, uh, you know, amenities within the house, amenities around you. Uh, we talked about parks, we talked about river trails, we even talked about grocery stores and, and restaurants and markets and things that are close right off of Brookswood. So, awesome place. Hope this is something that you're looking to uh, learn more about. And you'll see my information in the comments below. So hopefully you can uh, kind of check in and, and let us help you find the, the right one. Um, but if you're thinking about relocating to Bend or Central Oregon, or you're here already, um, we've done our part to create the ultimate relocation guide. So it's totally free. It's uh, designed to save you a ton of time and research and help you learn a little bit about what the different neighborhoods are, what the different parts of town are, what are some of the things you need to know, like top employers, top hospitals, and a boatload of other things that you need to know about Bend and Central Oregon. And again, it's 100% free. You just click in the comments below, let us know so we can send it on to you. And uh, we're here to support you and enjoy your trip to Central Oregon. But don't forget, we got a great house on the list right now. You better come check it out. By the time this video is published, there might be interest already. So hit me up. Let's go talk about it. Theron Heinlein, Lifestyle and Bend with our boy Joshua Grossman. Looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, we'll see you around town. Let's go. Let's go.